Alright guys, today I'm going to be real quick showing you how to use R2 Modman to use mods with Whisker Rain 2. The first thing you want to do is you want to click the link in the description and get the link for this Thunderstore page. And this is the Mod Manager. There are two options installed, Mod Manager, Manual Download. This is the Mod Manager, so we have to manually download it. So it does not matter where you save this or put this, just download it to wherever, desktop, downloads folder, doesn't matter. What you're looking for is just this one file in here. R2 Modman Setup EXE. And this is just a program. You install it like normal, double click it. You don't gotta drag it out or anything. Go through the installation, doesn't matter where you install it. I've already got it installed, so I'm not gonna install it. Sometimes Windows will tell you, you know, um, it's unsafe to install the software. That's normal, it's not unsafe. Just install it. And you wanna click the start button and start searching for your R2 Modman and open that up. So your startup screen might take a little while to load but it's gonna look a little bit different than mine. It's going to ask you to create a new profile and um, just go ahead and do that. This is not linked to your in-game profile at all. This is only for the mod manager. So just uh, go ahead and create a profile and you'll get into a screen that looks like this. Um, you won't have any in installed mods because I've already installed mods. But um, pretty much from here, it's self-explanatory. The first thing you need to do is go to online. This is how you install mods is there's these two marked essential. You want to get both of these download download with dependencies whatever you need and then from there you basically have everything you need to start modding just go ahead and scroll through the list and find what looks interesting to you and install it there are a few mods that i uh, consider essential and one of those is debug toolkit by harp this adds console commands and um what basically that does is it lets you use uh console commands in game like respawn or give yourself items or turn yourself into things and also unmodded clients it just lets you play with people who don't have mods installed so if you want to host with mods people can join not every mod works with this but it's just a good mod to have so you can play with people and then the other two i have are for my dedicated server and drop in multiplayer also for the dedicated server but that is how you do it to finally start playing with mods you just hit start modded and you're good to go so that's everything you need to know about the understore r2 mod man and the essential mods you need for Risk of Rain 2. If you have any questions, super active in the comments, just leave a comment and let me know what your questions are. And uh, look forward for more tutorials. Please subscribe.